Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my name is Masood Bijapuri. I'm one of the executive on the board and I'm also a part of the dinner committee. So I welcome you all. It is my pleasure now to uh, introduce our MC for this evening. He is an Emmy Award winning TV television journalist with more than 20 years of international investigative and local reporting and producing experience. Most recently, he reported for NBC's Five in Chicago and is currently national correspondent for the EW Scripps Company. Before that, he was a chief Midwest correspondent for Al Jazeera America and was also CNN's correspondent and bureau chief in Islamabad. He's also a five-time Emmy Award winner. Please join me in welcoming MC Sunday School graduate, Ashar Qureshi. Thank you, Masood Bhai. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to this incredible celebration. 50 years of the Muslim Community Center, alhamdulillah. We've come a long way from the meetings around kitchen tables and jamaats cramped in apartments to where we are today. The MCC now stands as the cornerstone of the Muslim community in Chicago. Tonight, inshallah, we will take a look back at its humble beginnings, from a simple place to gather and pray, to its growth into a center of Islamic education and a beacon for the Muslim community in Chicago. We'll make that journey through film, a short portion of which you just saw earlier. We will also hear from past presidents, recent alum, and take a peek into the future of MCC. As a graduate of the MCC Sunday School, I am very pleased to be your MC tonight, and I will do my best to try and keep the program to a short seven hours. Okay, we'll try, maybe, maybe six. So we're fortunate to have numerous prominent leaders with us this evening, one of them a longtime friend to the Muslim community. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky is here and would like to say a few words, Congresswoman. Thank you so much. It's such a great honor to be here tonight to celebrate 50 years of MCC, the Muslim Community Center. Um, I am really thrilled to once again be with so many of you and to congratulate you. Your growth and the commitment to the community is really remarkable over all these years. And you, we just saw how many things have happened and how you've grown. Um, what started in 1969, I heard it was a small group of people, about 15 people, um, has now blossomed into one of the largest and most diverse and most influential Muslim organizations in the country. So congratulations. And I know that you are so, so many of you are here tonight that there's actually another room. Let me wave to the people in the other, in the other room. About 1,500 of you here tonight. That's a big event. So, I, on a serious note, I want to tell you that now more than ever, it is crucial that we all work together to protect our civil rights. Last May, after that horrible, unspeakable massacre at Christ Church Mosque in New Zealand, and after the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh had been, a shooter had been, I joined with my colleague in the United States House of Representatives, Ilhan Omar, and she and I published a joint statement. And I just wanted to say a few words from that statement. It said, quote, as a Muslim American and a Jewish American elected to the United States Congress, we can no longer sit silent as terror strikes our communities. We cannot allow those who seek to divide us and intimidate us to succeed. Our two communities, Muslims and Jews, must come together to combat the twin evil 
of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia and violence. We may not see all to, uh, uh, eye to eye on everything we said in our statement, but we must acknowledge that attacks on our faith are two sides of the same bigotry coin. As Americans, we must stand together in rejecting hate and embrace one another in order to create a country and a culture of unity and justice. White right nationalism is on the rise and we must defeat it together. And finally, let me just say that your mosque has played an important role in advocating against hatred and discrimination in all of its forms. And I stand with you for, to fight for those rights. We know that our diversity is our strength. We will fight Islamophobia and prejudice. We will promote equality and fairness, and together we will win. So thank you very much for letting me say a few words to you tonight. Thank you.